In today's video, we'll begin by doing some basic navigation between the screens. Let's get started. Welcome back, fellow coders. My name is Fernando, and today we continue building our weather application. Today we will add some screens and basic navigation. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and check out my blog at coderman.tech. We'll begin by adding a navigation bar and a couple of navigation bar button items. Next, we'll add a new view controller that is going to hold our settings. Lastly, let's bring a navigation controller and that also brings a table view controller with it. With all those in place, let's begin by zooming in, in our first view controller. Let's double click on this button and we're going to change it to a add button. And on this button, uh, we're just going to call it settings. Let's also change the title to Houston just for now. And then from settings, we'll do control drag and we'll let go on the other view controller and we we'll click percent modeling. So whenever we click on the button settings, it's going to show the other view controller, which we're going to name settings in a second. Let's drag and drop a navigation bar on this view controller and give it a title of settings. Let's also add a bar button item and name it to back, which is going to be our back button. If you are new to segways, Make sure to check the links in the resources. We'll now connect our back button back to our Houston view controller. And we'll do that with control drag, let go, and click show. Just the same as before. We will now begin working on our table view controller. Let's start by naming it cities because it's going to hold all our cities. And we also add two buttons here. One is going to be our back button and one is going to be a plus sign so we can add new cities. So we'll double click here and make that a plus or add. Now we will hook our back button back to our Houston view controller. And just have to go down a little bit and let go on the Houston view controller and select percent modeling. Next we will hook up the plus button from the Houston view controller to the navigation controller for our table view. And we'll select show. That makes up all the connections. We can run the project now and make sure that everything works as expected. And I'm just going to make sure that all of our buttons are working correctly and taking us to the correct view controller. In the next video, we will add uh, UI elements to our view controller and hook up outlets and actions as well. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching and remember to code with a purpose.